He mentioned Kaiser Soze. Who? After that, my guess is you'll never hear from him again. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movies where the bad guy wins. We don't have to thank me, nobody ever does. I just hope your newfound honesty lasts. As if it doesn't, you'll be hearing from me. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest cinematic examples of villains emerging victorious. We won't be including movies where anti-heroes win. Since we'll be discussing endings in great detail, a major spoiler warning is also in effect. Which bad guy do you think was right? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Invasion of the Body Snatchers the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers ends on a somewhat hopeful note. In the end, a doctor acknowledges the imminent takeover and calls in the FBI. But the remake does away with this optimistic tone and presents something far more apocalyptic. I didn't tell him my name. They're all a part of it. They're all parts, all of them. In one of the most famous twist endings in movie history, it's revealed that main character Matthew Bennell has become a pod person. On top of that, he points and screams at Nancy to signify that she too will likely be killed and replaced. It's also implied that humanity has been successfully invaded by the alien creatures and will likely be consumed. To recap, the main character is dead and the whole world is doomed. That's definitely a villain victory. Matthew will never be able to stop them. Yes, we will. Can't. Look at they control the whole city. Number 19. Funny Games. In Funny Games, Oscar-nominated director Michelle Haneke explores the nature of meaningless violence. Merci, monsieur. The Schober family are vacationing in Austria when they are accosted by two young intruders named Paul and Peter. They cruelly enact their titular funny games against the family, which aren't actually very funny. At one point, Anna Schober emerges victorious and kills Peter with a shotgun. But Hanukkah has Paul break the fourth wall and literally rewinds the film to ensure his partner's survival. The villainous duo then kills the entire Schober family. This narrative then concludes with a malicious cliffhanger when they arrive at a new house. Number 18. Hereditary The major film debut of director Ari Aster was widely acclaimed, deftly mixing family drama with elements of the supernatural. But you can't take responsibility for anything! So now I can't accept. And I can't forgive! Throughout the film, the Graham family has to endure tragic and haunting events. We eventually learn that their suffering was all part of a witch coven's plan. All the Graham's family torment was part of a grand plan to bring a demon king named Payman back to Earth. Over time, each member of the family falls in a grotesque fashion. In the end, the young Peter is possessed by Payman. He is in turn crowned by the ecstatic coven. While it's unclear what happens next, having a demon king walking the Earth as a human cannot be good. You are Payman. One of the eight kings of hell. Number 17. The Wicker Man While many detective movies end with the case closed in a satisfying way, you won't find any happy endings at the end of this mystery. The Wicker Man sees Police Sergeant Neil Howey exploring the pagan island of Summer Isle for a missing girl. You know her. Her name is Rowan Morrison. The photo was in this letter posted here on Summer Isle. But the film has one doozy of a twist ending. As it turns out, this missing girl story was made up to get Howie to the island. Apparently, the island's crops are failing, and they believe that a human sacrifice is needed to appease the gods. Howie is the unlucky one chosen to be burned alive inside the titular Wicker Man. 
Seeing the islanders happily dancing and singing around the flaming structure is an eerie sight never to be forgotten. Number 16. Skyfall Released on the 50th anniversary of the James Bond franchise, one would expect Skyfall to be a joyous celebration of the series. Instead, the film presented an aging Bond who was well past his prime. Medical evaluation fail, physical evaluation fail, psychological evaluation, alcohol and substance addiction indicated. Oof. It also ends quite tragically with the villain succeeding in his aim. An ex-MI6 agent, Raul Silva, spends the movie trying to kill his old boss, M, for her actions in a past mission. While he doesn't live to enjoy his victory, Silva delivers the killing blow to M before he's dispatched himself. So, not only does the bad guy win, but he also takes out one of the franchise's most beloved characters. I should get one thing right. Number 15. Identity James Mangold's identity goes to some unexpected places. It begins as a straightforward thriller, with ten strangers being killed off one by one inside a motel. But we later learn that these characters are really different personalities of a convict named Malcolm Rivers. Your Honor, there is no universally efficacious treatment for disassociative identity disorder. In theory, one must attempt to move the patient towards integration. The audience is led to hope that he will find and eliminate the homicidal personality before his impending execution. And for a glorious moment, it seems like he's won. Rivers even avoids a death sentence, but in a cruel twist ending, it's revealed that the killer personality is actually still alive within Rivers. The winding narrative ends with the murderous mind fully taking over the body. <laughs> Number 14. Watchmen Zack Snyder's superhero epic was a clever subversion of the time-honored genre, featuring anti-heroic lead characters, a bleak tone, graphic violence, and a stirring ending that raises some serious moral questions. Your schoolboy heroics are redundant. What have they achieved? A supposed hero named Ozymandias attempts to stop the Cold War by destroying numerous cities and framing his ally, Dr. Manhattan, as a common enemy. Although his allies try to thwart the plan, they arrive far too late. Multiple cities are destroyed and millions of lives are lost. The countries of the world finally decide to put aside their differences at the cost of Dr. Manhattan being seen as a villain. After Watchmen member Rorschach is slain to keep him quiet, the remaining heroes have to live with what their old friend has done. Of course, you must protect rights in the utopia. What's one more body amongst foundations? Number 13. The Omen Those who fear biblical evil would do well to avoid the Omen. That's enough. And with your wealth and power, he will establish his counterfeit kingdom here on Earth, receiving his power directly from Satan. After Robert and Kathy Thorne lose their newborn son, they decide to adopt another. Unfortunately, their new child, Damien, turns out to be the literal Antichrist. Robert vows to stop the kid from committing evil before it's too late. Unfortunately, the man comes up short. While attempting to stop Damien, Robert draws the attention of the police and is shot to death. Robert's knowledge of what the kid is tragically dies with him. A satisfied Damien even breaks the fourth wall to let us know how happy he is about this grim turn of events. It's like he's goading us into revealing the truth, a reveal that would surely end in our deaths. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Number 12. Chinatown this iconic masterpiece of film noir contains one of the most famous tragic endings in movie history. Private investigator Jake Giddis is led down a dark path involving homicide and the water supply of Los Angeles. Oh, that's all taken care of. See, Mr. Giddis, either you bring the water to L.A. 
or you bring L.A. to the water. The journey leads him to a wicked man named Noah Cross. This villain committed a number of crimes that included, but are certainly not limited to, killing his old partner. While audiences are expecting Noah to get what's coming to him, his daughter is killed by the police instead. The villain ends the movie getting away with absolutely everything. All Jake can do is stare in utter disbelief at the injustice of it all. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Number 11, 1984. Published in 1948, George Orwell's 1984 is a masterpiece of dystopian fiction. This film adaptation is incredibly faithful to Orwell's vision. Power is inflicting pain and humiliation, otherwise you cannot be sure. Power is tearing human minds apart and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. So that means it includes the book's famous bleak ending. Winston Smith and his lover Julia are arrested by the Thought Police for their transgressions against the state. Brainwashing and constant torment eventually breaks the duo and makes them betray each other. In the end, Winston is left a mindless zombie who proudly declares his love for and allegiance to Big Brother. It's a horrifying statement about the power of totalitarianism and the complete lack of freedom that it affords. I love you. Number 10. Saw It's not rare for the bad guys to win in horror movies, but the ending of Saw packed a certain kind of power that left behind an undeniable legacy. I'm going to bleed to death. Throughout this horror film, two unlucky victims named Adam and Lawrence are trapped in a room with a body on the floor in between them. In one of the most famous twist endings of the 21st century, the corpse rises and reveals himself to be mastermind Jigsaw. He then leaves the restrained Adam to die alone in the dark. Not only does Jigsaw get away, but the other main characters are either left dead or dying. It's a relentless roller coaster of violence and shocking developments. Ah! Ah! Game over. Ah! Number 9. No Country for Old Men. This classic thriller explores concepts of fate and good versus evil. Throughout the movie, Anton Chigur is the very embodiment of wickedness. Look, I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You stand to win everything, call it. He even dresses in black like the Grim Reaper. Chigur is after a briefcase of money that was stolen by Llewellyn Moss, and he handedly wins. Not only does he get the briefcase back, but he easily dispatches most of his enemies and successfully evades the pursuing Sheriff Bell. Even though he has to endure a horrific injury in a climactic car crash, he still walks away a free man. This movie posits that evil will always exist. While we may never understand it, sometimes it will triumph over good. You can't stop what's coming. It ain't all waiting on you. That's vanity. Number 8. Rosemary's Baby This horror classic shares some similarities with The Omen. It, too, is about the Antichrist and its rocky relationship with its parents. In this case, the child is still unborn. The story mainly concerns the pregnant Rosemary Woodhouse. Hello? Miss Woodhouse? Dr. Hill? Congratulations. Really? Really. She is constantly gaslit and manipulated by her neighbors that tell her everything is fine. Naturally, they are elderly Satanists hoping to bring the Antichrist into the world. In the end, Rosemary gives birth to Satan's son. While she expresses horror at the concept and the baby's appearance, she nevertheless agrees to mother the kid. The Satanists get their Antichrist while completely eliminating Rosemary's personal agency. Are you trying to get me to be his mother? Aren't you his mother? Number 7. The Silence of the Lambs Regarded as one of the greatest movie villains, Hannibal Lecter's charisma also makes us forget just how horrible he actually is. 
A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Although the main antagonist, Buffalo Bill, is defeated, we can't overlook how sinister this secondary threat is. Lecter is able to handedly outsmart the good guys by the film's conclusion. When Hannibal is transferred to Memphis, he violently escapes from the courthouse and goes on the run. The film's famous ending sees a free Hannibal calling Clarice to say goodbye before pursuing a new target. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. He slowly fades into the distance, just one more face in the large crowd. Number 6. Old Boy This thriller classic from director Park Chan-wook packs a horrific and truly unforgettable twist ending. Oh Dae-su is kidnapped and imprisoned for 15 years, only to be randomly released. He meets and falls in love with a woman named Mi Do while seeking revenge against mastermind Lee Woo Jin. However, the grudge isn't one-sided. Back in high school, Wu Jin had an inappropriate relationship with his sister. After Dae Su told others about it, other rumors about the siblings began to spread. Wu Jin's sister eventually took her own life. The grieving brother then orchestrated events so Dae Su would unknowingly start an inappropriate relationship with his daughter. While Dae Su moves to have this knowledge erased, his final expression suggests that he'll never be truly happy. <laughs> Number 5. Primal Fear Edward Norton received an Oscar nomination for his performance as Aaron Stampler, a shy altar boy who is accused of killing an archbishop. There was someone else in that room, Mr. Bale. That was the third person? Yes, sir. Did you tell the police this? Yes. Yes, I did. He is defended by attorney Martin Vale, who learns that Aaron might have disassociative identity disorder. His alter ego, Roy, is like a sociopathic Mr. Hyde to Aaron's passive Dr. Jekyll. But the terrifying truth is revealed in the ending. In the end, we learn that Roy faked having alternate personalities. He did so not only for sympathy, but to appear mentally unstable and avoid a conviction for capital homicide. Roy proudly gloats about killing the Archbishop and is sent away to a psychiatric hospital. By the time the credits rolled, he successfully tricked everyone and avoided prison. There never was an Aaron counselor. Number 4. Avengers Infinity War The last thing we expected from a Marvel movie was half the universe dying. But hey, we love a good surprise. You should have gone for the head. In a move that shocked the world, Thanos emerged victorious at the end of Infinity War. He amasses all the six powerful stones he needed to complete the Infinity Gauntlet. With a snap of his fingers, half of the entire universe is decimated. This means we have to watch countless major characters die before our eyes. Included among the dead are Peter Parker, Peter Quill, Doctor Strange, and Nick Fury. While it was a very daring narrative choice for Marvel, it worked perfectly and helped ensure the wild success of the film. What did it cost? Everything. Number 3. Seven. Few fictional serial killers are as terrifying as John Doe. He planned to model his kills after the seven deadly sins. Although it seems like Doe was too short by the end, he reveals that he has one last trick up his sleeve. So when this big thing happens, you be sure and let me know, because I wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, don't worry. You won't. The mystery man was jealous of the happy life that Tracy and Detective David shared. He slays Tracy and leaves the remaining proof of his crime in a box. By committing these actions, John Doe declares himself as the Sin Envy. 
The cruel crime also enrages David beyond belief. When the detective shoots Doe, the cop is consumed by the sin wrath. This ending is downbeat and utterly hopeless. Doe wins, Mills gets taken away under police custody, and Detective Somerset is left to reflect on the violent nature of the world. Ernest Hemingway once wrote, The world is a fine place and worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. Number 2. Star Wars Episode V – The Empire Strikes Back Fans expected Revenge of the Sith to have a real downer of an ending since it explained how Anakin Skywalker became the villainous Darth Vader. But the dark conclusion that caught many by surprise occurs in The Empire Strikes Back. Princess, you'll find mm -hmm. Han. I promise. Mm -hmm. Chewie, I'll be waiting for your signal. Take care, you two. May the Force be with you. The lead-up to the ending features one defeat after another. Yoda is abandoned on Dagobah, Han Solo is frozen in carbonite and taken to Jabba the Hutt, and after losing a hand, Luke learns that the villainous Darth Vader is actually his biological father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him! No, I am your father. By the end, the heroes are left picking up the pieces while reflecting on everything they've lost. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Usual Suspects when writer Christopher McQuarrie took home the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for The Usual Suspects, it wasn't hard to see why. He crafted one of the best downbeat endings in movie history. Stay here and let us protect you. No way. I'm not bait. I post today. You posted 20 minutes ago. Captain Leo wants you out of here ASAP, unless you turn states. I'll take my chances, thank you. Con artist Verbal Kint tells police the story of a ship massacre and the elusive crime lord Kaiser Soze. While the police are utterly sucked into his story, they don't get to discover how to get the infamous villain. But in the end, we learn that Kint was an unreliable narrator who made up the whole story. It turns out that Kint and Kaiser Soze are one and the same. The police had the crime lord in their grasp and allowed him to walk away scot-free. And like that, he's gone. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.